Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Linus 2. I'm the Mysterious JG. I was only going to record one video tonight, but uh, I just can't help but be drawn in by this excitement as uh, we've just encountered the white um, swan, or whatever the hell these guys are called. The white dudes. Mighty white of them. Who are you? Sorry. Oh, Ferris, will you help? Oh, Sir Ferris, will you help? Yes. Superb, here's a rundown. Minions from the Black Cross Order are attempting to get their dirty mitts on the Seventh Seal. You must hurry to the Temple of Duran Duran. <laughs> the Temple of Duran Duran. Uh, I need to look up some Duran Duran uh, references to make, because I don't really know that much about Duran Duran off the top of my head. Should the Black Cross get a hold of the Seal, Granada's mass scheme for a great union will a real great union will succeed, man. Legend has it that the white or black and white and black cross orders will clash. Blah blah blah. And the deadly conflict will determine who shall possess the seventh seal. Now Granada has lent his considerable power and summoned fearful warriors to fortify Duran Duran. Please, Lord Ferris, please make haste to the temple of Duran Duran. You must secure the seventh seal before the lackeys of the Black Cross Order get their evil paws on it. Okay. Oh, uh, Ferris, we Ferris, the Temple of Duran Duran is in the Gate of the Bronze, something. Dot dot dot. You guys remind me a lot of the cult from the beginning of the game who, uh. I've been waiting so long, waiting for you so long, waiting for you to visit our church. Now yeah, it's been kind of an anti climax now that you're here, you know what I'm saying? These guys remind me of the cult from the beginning of the game who sent me out to something that was, like, a totally bad idea. You reach the Great Bronze Gate by exiting at the rear of this church. Oh, okay. So this is required. You won't be able to get to... You know, some triple words avoid uses about Yeah, okay, so there's, like, more, like... There's more stuff going on here with, like, uh... You have to avoid spotlights, like, in that one tower. There'll be something like that we can avoid encounters. Now, that is really suspicious to me. I'm thinking that that guy is going to turn out to be a member of the Black... Uh, nation, army, whatever the hell those guys are. Or maybe not. Unless all these guys are going to be members of the Black Army. If you have taken a vow of silence in this, this way of meditation, he's hoping for divine insight and a prophecy. La Ferris, we Ferris, this is our army of holy weapons. Help themselves. Help yourself. You are Ferris, after all. You found an earth card, which you don't really need anymore. And a gold card. I don't think I need that anymore either, but I'll hold on to it. Why not? Ferris, check the container. Tempest gain. Alright. Sounds pretty cool. And spirit hat. All right, this hat is made of booze. The wind ring. Nice. I don't remember what they do. I think they increase the type of magic whose name they share, and uh, but they don't do anything else for you. So I keep finding a bunch of stuff that's not as good as what I've already got. Now I did spend a lot of money for the gear that I've got right now. There's a room of silence. I think I've already been in there. Creepy music. Oh, you're a true hero. Oh, okay. So this is like. Oh. So that's how you get into the White Cross. How about the Black Cross? These guys talk to us at all? Widow, widow, I can just walk a walk a walk a. Oh, so they worship Granada. I guess that makes sense. They are the evil opposites of the guys who want to help you, after all. You 
would think that Potentate Petro would do something about these guys, but... Yeah, well, they're just freedom and all that. Where do you think you're going? Now is the time of, for prayer. Go give praises to Granada. I wonder if I could have... Hmm. I am curious. Maybe there's something I should do off screen, but... I'm just curious what happens if I go to the Black Cross first, if they'll let me in. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, I should probably uh, be checking on this off screen, but I'm curious. And I want to do this while I'm thinking of it. Now I can't remember how I got to Tranquil Hill. I think I went to Lejeune, and I took a different exit out of Lejeune. That's what happened. Well, never mind. There's the place I wanted to go to get the bread quest going, but forget it. Now I'm thinking about this. All right, let's try to get into the Black Cross first, and let's just wait till we find out there's a complete waste of time. Damn it! Get no. Stop frame skipping, GG. I cannot make myself stop. Okay, it did nothing. Complete waste of your time. Sorry, folks. All right. Uh, as our grenade will bring about the real great union, the time draws closer. The seven seal will soon be ours. Ah, uh, it's gonna be awesome. I'll praise your Granada, the great lights. Our Granada is the way of the black cross. The Granada, we Granada. We. I am that person. All right. Okay, that was a total waste of time. Sorry, folks. But it brought something desperately important to my attention, which is that before this video is up, if I want to, I can go try and get bread. <laughs> because I think I know what we have to do with that whole thing now. Was there something in a town earlier in the game where the guy said that only members of the White Cross were allowed <laughs> inside? Hey, medicine, why not? Not that we're, like, short of opportunities to refill our medicine, but it would appear that this might be, like, a major... That's where the... Nah, we don't care about your problems. I've already seen pushy, but I really need the job and the money for a while. Ooh. I'll be as brief as possible. <clears throat> Two gods coexist in Raja. Maber, god of life, and Granada, god of destruction. As time moves towards its ultimate day of reckoning, these two deities shall wage their final battle. To gain an advantage, Granada will place his own son, Ferris, into a supernatural and nearly eternal slumber. Lumba, lumba. Wait, what? Granada will place his son, Ferris, like Granada was Mr. Evil, dude. Ferris will awaken in time for the Great Union, fresh blood to wage war against Maber's pro-life forces of good. Unexpectedly, though, Ferris will turn on Granada, his own father. Unexpected, even though it's part of a prophecy, and therefore was by definition conceived of before the events. Ferris will join Maybar and fight against legions of dark forces in order to save Elts and Lennis. The remainder of the legend expresses uncertainty as to whether Elts and Lennis can actually be saved. It's kind of a crappy legend. That is the part that no one here understands. You see, none of us have heard of a person or place called Lennis. Oh, I see. I, I get to talk now? Great. I guess this means I have certain decisions to make. Concerning what? The resolution of your prophecy. I first now talk like Alec Rickman. Uh huh? That's right. I will decide the fate of your world. Okay, so the evil dude is like our father. It's kind of a... A weird way to find out, like just talking to random dude. Oh, this is like the. Oh, I didn't even mean to say yes. I was gonna be all offended by the fact that they were gonna charge me money to stay in my own frickin' temple, but I guess I'll save. So I wouldn't have felt like walking over to, uh. 
No, you didn't even say, like, I hope you had a good night. He's just like, can I take more money from you, please? Well, Ferris, ooey, Ferris, sometimes I go to Port and Patriot's castle, but lately I didn't get to finish talking before you. I figured something to cheer him up. Well, he likes uh, exotic fan dances. I hear. I don't know where I got that from. I gotta give my party member some more personality. I was just thinking back on LPs of my own that I enjoyed, and I really liked, um, I liked Lufia, and I liked the Breath of Fire games because the, the companions got personalities. And I, you know, Seventh Saga, I never really got a feel for the characters. And the same thing is, there's a threat of that happening here because I keep switching party members. I don't think I'll stick with these ones for forever, too. But anyway, that, that appears to have... This appears to be the only way to get out to where we need to be going next as far as dungeons and stuff. Except that I think we need to go into the sewers at some point. Anyway, I'm going to put this off. I know we haven't had, like, good combat in the last two video in this video or the one before it, but, um... But what, JG? But I want to, um... I want to find out about getting some bread. <laughs> See, it looks like there's all this stuff in the black side, too. But you can't get to it, so... Maybe you have to do plot stuff. Or maybe you never get there, and it's just kind of a... All those things. They may, you know, in order to make it look like a complete world, they throw in places that you don't actually go to. Tranquil music not being sped up and not being sung along with by me. Totally lost the melody there. I think you have to talk to the people in line. Uh, uh, uh. If I wait here all night, surely I'll be able to purchase a loaf of Abel's bread in the morning. It's just bread, people. Hey, no cutting in. I don't want to get a single moment of... I thought I was supposed to talk to somebody in this line that was going to change something. In that case, you'll never enjoy Abel's bread. Never! Mwah! I don't even remember what the hell's going on up here. Oh, well, let's get on the path and find out. Yeah, I thought I thought something was going to change in the Abel's Bread quest, but... Wind demons and... something bugs. Forget it. I don't feel like finding them. Ooh, it's like a swamp. What's going on up here? Giant tree! Yes, that is where one of the... I think that is where the next seal we're supposed to get actually is. Well, let's make sure that I get a chance to do some kind of combat before this video is over, because it's been a while. Kick on, which will hit everything and not do a whole hell of a lot of damage, but... Leylon... Oh, I did enough to kill those guys. There we go. So there's your combat for the... If I post one of these videos every other day, that, that combat's gonna have to hold you for like four days. Sorry, folks. Because <laughs> there's no combat in the last video. But here's an inn. Oh god, everybody just wants 480 gold constantly. Isn't that what it costs to sleep in my own frickin' temple? It's like, everyone there's like, oh, Lord Ferris, we worship you, Lord Ferris. 
We exist only to serve you, Lord Ferris. Please give us 400-something gold before you can have a rest. And we're at the 15-minute mark, so I really do need to think about ending this, especially if I want to do anything else before I go to bed. Got long work days in Afghanistan, folks. I'm not always doing something at work. Well, we got to be pretty close to the giant tree here, so maybe we'll just get to the giant tree and then call it a video. That doesn't look like a tree, but I have a feeling that when we step into it, it's going to turn out to be the giant tree. What do you know, folks? What do you know? All right, in the next video, um, again, got to hand it to them. Really interesting and weird world design in these Lennis games. Uh, we'll see more of it next time, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've been giving me positive and nice comments. Uh, you can bitch about the game, too. I don't mind, as long as it's not 100% bitching that I receive. And uh, I'll see you in the future. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.